Smooball here and it's JJ and I'm doing a super fast video today because I'm currently editing a pretty long video so we have to do a fast and easy one for me to edit just to just to save me some some time you know but I'm kind of getting like Christmassy today with my eyes and my little, my little poncho thingy but anyways let's go ahead and get started so today's video we're going to be teaching you how to head swap your LPS for like customizing or if you just want to head swap your LPS for some reason. So I'm going to be showing like a step by step tutorial. It's super easy but you do have to be careful because the like peg could go in. But let's go ahead and get started. So what you're going to need is your two LPS that you're wanting to head swap. Don't worry these are both custom bases so I'm not ruining pristine condition LPS and this one actually was a fail attempt of a uh, I don't know I forgot but yeah so these are both from Amazon. You can look them up on Amazon, but yeah. So what you're gonna need is a hair dryer. So you got your two LPS, and now you're gonna need a hair dryer to burn their heads, and then you're gonna pull this head off. So yeah. Okay, so here's my hair dryer, my mom's hair dryer, and it has paint all over it. But you're going to want to take one of your pets and just have his head under the hair dryer. I'll film me while doing it, but I won't be able to talk. Um, but um. You're basically just going to have his head under the hairdryer and his head will become squishy and you'll keep it on the hairdryer on his head for about like 10 seconds max and then it'll come right off. But yeah, let me show you it. did that you're just going to jiggle his neck and i lied about the 10 second part it's actually like 20 seconds to 30 seconds and you're just going to want to jiggle his peg again you want to jiggle the peg out of his head you want to be really careful because you can't actually break the peg with this part but you don't want to go fast so that it doesn't like cool down so you're just going to wiggle and wiggle and wiggle I did it! Yay, so now you have your headless LPS. And for me, I'm not using the head on this body. I'm actually using the body for the collie. This is the Pob collie um, from the Amazon set that I bought. So, yeah. So now you're going to take your second LPS. Mine is a collie. It's going to be a carpet collie. I've actually already made one of this. And I'll show you at the end what it looks like. But yeah. So now you're going to do the exact same thing as you did with the first one. You're going to turn the hair dry on, leave it on it for about 20 seconds, and then just wiggle the peg off. your two headless LPS and um whatever one you're putting head on so I'm going to be using this head and this body and then putting the cocker spaniel head on the collie bolly body I mean so it'll look something like this I'm not going to be using this one actually so I'll just teach you how to put it on this one so what you're going to want to do is you're not going to keep the thing up because the peg and the body of the LPS's head could actually go inside the LPS because their heads are hollow. So you don't want that to happen. So all you're going to do is you're going to let it sit for a little bit. So you're going to like feel the peg and see if it's warm. Mine's not. So you're going to want to just stick it sideways. And you're just going to push really hard. This may take some time. Um, but you don't want to stick it in too far or like the head won't be bobbled. So here's what it looks like. Um, it's a cocker collie is what I call it because I've actually done this before. I'm going to show you what it looks like, the one my sister customized. So my sister actually customized a cocker collie as I call it. 
already and she made it into a little golden retriever because it's one of our favorite dogs so here is what the cocker collie looks like i'm just having so much fun saying cocker collie i don't know it's like my favorite word now but yeah this one actually has the paw up which is mine and this one is hers so i really like this mold honestly i think it's super duper cute and i'm really excited to customize her i'll post a picture of her at the end on my community page what she looks like so yeah so that is it for today's video i hope you guys have enjoyed my step-by-step -step tutorial if you have any more questions you can totally ask me on my community page but that is it for today's video bye